as is even a Mr. Paradise, a non-qualified leader or a person with incompatible members of the society fighting for power and chair with that people, nobody can achieve anything at all. These five components have to be understood. And coming to the nomenclature of lion, somebody asked me while I was telling that I am addressing lion's club, everybody was surprised because I am very new and alienistic to this platform, you can see me. <laughs> Somebody asked why they are called as lions, then he told that in the Shastras, we used to have a specified or specific nomenclature. Like somebody called as forest, Vidya Aranya, the forest of knowledge. Vidya Sagara, the ocean of knowledge. And we used to call somebody Giri, Parvata, mountain. So calling somebody as mountain is for majesty. Ocean is for the unfathomability. Call, calling somebody as forest is for the depth and density that they possess. So here we used to also have Simha, Vyagra and Rishabha. For great people, committed people, working people, dynamic people, they used to call them as Simha. I used to say that always India is uh, the primogenitor for Lions Club because it has established lot of people. Now, whatever the people name as Singh and Simha, they are all belonging to the Lions Club, even not Lions Club. So we have our own, we have our own history that India has the pioneership for Lions Club, number one. And number two, we should understand there are two things. One is absolute nature, second is descriptive or executive nature. If somebody is Vidya Ranya or Vidya Sagara, ocean of knowledge, it means that number one, the absolute nature is knowledge. And the descriptive thing is known as being in ocean. Like that if somebody is called as a lion, that is not absolute nature of anybody. Absolute nature is different. Compassion, altruism, cosmopolitanism is the absolute nature, which springs from qualities like love, mercy, compassion and service. This is absolute nature. Lion is a qualifying additional name which says that that person in that commitment he is honest. So a lion is a person who is honest. So a lion is a person who is steadfast. Lion is a person who is having endurance. I am talking about ideal lion. So any person who is having the endurance. Any person having integrity. Any person having unity. Any person having moral courage. Any person having diligence. Any person having some sort of submission, surrender and sacrifice. Such a person is known as Lion. And one more thing, I want to also attribute the pride to Lion's Club. Lion's Club or the name Lion's to a club or an international NGO that has created a new dictionary for bravery. In traditional history, bravery means nothing but attacking enemies. Attacking enemies who are visualizable and those who are conspicuous. Those enemies who are coming with weapons and other people, attacking them is known as bravery. Lions Club or the Lions system has only given a new name to bravery, not only attacking the visible people or evil elements, but attacking silent, subtle, small, crawling social evils like poverty, <laughs> unemployment, disabilities, political corruption and all other social subtle evils. They are not only the enemies across the border, there are a lot of inner enemies within us and around us, beyond us. Those things are considered and bravery has been specially branded with a new description by the Lions International. Second thing is, destruction of enemies is considered to be bravery by tradition, but Lions has proved that construction of the society is a real bravery. So it is a new definition for the Lions that has been given. And we want to prove that this idealism should be implanted within us and there are members of society which we call spark. How great institutions come? By a spark of a small person, somebody nourish and nurture the community, somebody develop the community, somebody shield the community and spread the community. There are a lot of people to dilute the community, divert the community and dilapidate the community. We should understand who are there. And by integrity within our own self, because you know that we are having lot of problems with our own brothers in the form of case suits and files. We are having diseases inside us. So enemies need not be across borders or outside us. We yeah. should understand how inner enmity and internal enmity can be removed by dialogue, mutual realization, yeah. affection and social integrity, yeah. giving them the commission. That is a very great challenge to people like all of us. We are having eight major issues according to Shastra generally they say, whatever you speak, there is a difference between your speech and action. Action and your impact. Impact and self propellingness we used to say that any person continuously providing help to a second person, he is an idiot. He is a useless person, he is cruel. Making that person self propelling to take care of himself and take care of his own dependence is real charity and we should see if our impact is not going to change our metamorphosis into some sort of social constructivity by self propellingness that is a very great danger to a charitable activity. And we should be not only dealing with the emergent occasion, we should be available for casualty. Regarding blindness there are a lot of things, intrauterine problems are there and also malnutrition problems are there. 
there are very many external and exogenetic influential factors are there. So we should deal with the preventive factors along with curative factors. We should be casually serving the people instead of going there by emergency just as the politically elected people they go for emergency and election. We should not behave like that. We should have a constant shower of our care instead of occasional shower and going somewhere else. We should not be having diverted things but directed things. Instead of having a half meal in 10 areas, if you have a small pinch or part of thing in a directed vision, it will have more power, it will have more effulgent radiance and brilliance and that is what we have to provide here. And coming to the real conclusion, we used to have lot of projections in wherever a community is there, we have analyzed lot of communities. There is a very great research about NGOs and their projections. There are eight unwanted projections in NGOs. Number one, in the pretext of NGOs, there are lot of NGOs where fiscal mishandling is there. Second thing, conversions are being done in the pretext of NGOs and social services. And terrorism disruption is silently served in few NGOs. Fourth thing, lobbying and uh, prime leadership and membership uh, relation making that is happening in NGOs. Where there are no NGOs exempted or it is an unavoidable thing, so lobbying is there. Second thing is business relations that are happening, image projection and publicity, that is also a thing but it is less harmful, it is not going to harm anybody but it is diverting you from the prime mission. And other two things are, each and everybody is feeling a loneliness, they cannot hug with gold and uh, silver, even the relations are not so abrasable, so they want an outlet and they want to fulfill their loneliness, it's a mutuality and understanding the society. And final thing, apart from this type of relation, they want some entertainment and relaxation. These eight things are known as substandard projections in NGOs. Social service is the main one. All the other things, salubrious things I am quoting, those things can, can happen as byproduct and you should not be totally oriented and these things should not make other things valuable and vital things to be sacrificed at any cost. And this is the advice to any NGO I want to say. And finally, international theme is that yesterday I addressed a media club where I told that anything will have a solution only if it is internationally projected because we are approaching a global village. Any problem of you should become an, an international attention, it should draw international association, it should draw also international support for you. If you make it international for your problems, there will be an international response and pressurization so that you can get the benefit. And Lions Club being an international club, there are a lot of opportunities for taking all the problems as not only an individual problem, but the whole problem to human community, not only a human problem, but to the existence of life in the world itself, not only to this world, but also the whole planetary and universal system not only to a nation and its provisional binding but also towards the international atmosphere not only pertaining to today but also the futuristic and security of the prospective forthcoming generations of our life so this international platform should be very much configured and immigrated by each and everybody's presence each and everybody is a lion and Shastra says that each and everybody is having the valor and commitment inside and that should be some sort of motivation from speakers from inspirers, from doers, motivators and exercises and principal personalities and this motivation should be unextinguishably preserved forever after crossing the threshold of Savera we should not forget everything we should have it in mind and have an eternal flame of knowledge and burning for success. I wish and bless the present governor, he is more blessed because this is the first time in my life I am addressing such type of conferences. <laughs> and it is a very smart and sharp and small transit visit. I have to immediately rush and I wish and bless each and everybody to get more revelation of their inner awareness. Each and everybody is a noble by nature or innation. I wish each and everybody to realize themselves and relish the power of integrity and common holding and action. And I wish success in each and every inch of attempt of all of you in the proper manner, bringing happiness and harmony to society. Education we have to work, health we have to work, harmony we have to work, human rights we have to work, and leading science and technology in the proper direction is also our duty. And uprooting this corruption and bringing good governance is our main thing. If we are corrupt, unless we are corrupt, we won't, we won't be silent or supporting these things at all. If we are supporting these things, if we are not against these things, then immediately we should be either corrupt or we should be in poverty. So we should realize our greatness and bring transformation to society. I wish that the last of the Lions Club is there. There are 1.3 million people with 40,000 clubs having 205 countries. The rest of and uh, you know that 
you know that if there is a possibility, if this land section and division can bring a transformation leading a pioneer ship to all the other existing 1.29999 members of the society in millions, then it will be a greater blessing. I wish and bless success to all of you once again and I extend my prayers to the Almighty to extend his choice of several blessings to potentialize you for your activities to bring individual characteristic molding and public behavior and social relations. Narayan, Narayan, Narayan.